Hey, what's up, guys? We got another uh, UFC video here today. This one's actually a DraftKings video, but you know, has to do with the UFC. And yeah, this is gonna be a UFC 196 uh, lineup for the uh, Conor McGregor fight. You know, against uh, Nate Diaz. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on my lineup over here. But first things first, if you guys haven't joined DraftKings, I got a uh, the link below in my description. You'll see it right there. Uh, you know, if you guys want to play MMA fantasy, you know, have a chance to make money. Um, yeah, if you guys want to join, you know what I'm saying? Just click the link below and join. Uh, let me know if you joined or not. Well, if you want to join, let me know, alright? So, <laughs> anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started with the lineup. So, I'm going to go, and uh, this is a GPP lineup. So, the big tournaments. Uh, I don't really do uh, cash games, but I might start doing them. So yeah, let's go ahead and get get on with my first pick. Um, first pick is gonna be a big underdog. I'm gonna go with uh, CR. So what this guy has here is really good knockout power. You know what I'm saying? But he has a lot of cons right now. First of all, he's, he's on the two fight losing streak. But his a big con is that his last fight was in 2013, late 2013. So I mean, that's it's been more than two years already. So this guy's been out for a while. But what I do remember from this guy is he has good striking and he has a lot of power. So, you know what? This is a GBP lineup. So, you know, I want to take a little bit of a risk here. You know what I'm saying? Might be able to cash in. Uh, he's fighting against Brandon Thatch, which is a, another good striker. And he's coming off. He has two losses right now he's coming off of right now. So, you know, he's not doing too good either. But I th those were against uh, really good, really good fighters. Uh, so you know that's something to think about but I mean CR you know if they stay standing and CR can land a nice clean punch I think I think you can put him away I, I don't know about uh I mean I, I don't know about uh Brandon Thatch's chin but it doesn't seem to be that good I mean Gunnar Nelson dropped him so this guy with way more power should be able to drop him also so that's kind of what I'm hoping for I know it's a risky pick but like I said it's a GPP lineup so you know what I'm saying gotta take a risk here so I'm gonna go ahead and pick him on my team guys all right, my next pick. This guy is a beast finisher, and that's what we want for GPP. Uh, his name's Vitor Miranda. So this guy's fighting against a Brazilian guy that is, you know, well he's Brazilian too, but against another Brazilian guy that has, who is, you know, mostly a, a jiu-jitsu guy. I'm saying that. So he has jiu-jitsu, and yeah, this this the guy he's fighting is really not that good at all. Not a good striker. Miranda here. Finishing everybody by knockout in the first or second round. This guy's smashing them. So I think he get it done easily, guys. I think this is a really solid pick. Uh, hopefully, a lot of people don't pick him, but you know, hopefully everybody picks McGregor or Holly, because you know those are like the main fighters. Hopefully, no one picks uh, Vitor, but yeah, he's decently priced at ten thousand seven hundred. You know, he's he's expensive, but he's gonna be worth the money since, like I said, this guy has this finishing ability, really good striking. And yeah, I think you get it done, guys. So that's going to be one of my other picks. Okay, now for my uh, third pick. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Beast right here. Amanda Nunez. So she's the favorite in her fight also. Uh, as you can see right here, she's 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 a she's a finisher pretty much. I don't think she has any wins by submit, uh, by decision, I mean. All her... Um, damn, look at all her wins. All her wins are like first round. Is he, you guys see that? That's crazy. So yeah, she's a finisher. Uh, her opponent, Valentina, is you know tough girl. She only fought once in UFC. I think uh, she beat uh, Sarah Kaufman, and it was by split decision. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she's gonna be able to survive against Amanda Nunez. I think Amanda Nunez is gonna be too strong, too explosive, huge power in her punches, good kicks, uh, good wrestling, good ground game. Also, I just, I just think Amanda Nunez is gonna be too much. And if she doesn't knock her out or, you know, tap her out in the first or second round, I mean, or, or the third round, uh, I mean, even if it goes to the decision, I think she's going to put a beating on her. But I think for sure, man, the news here could get a finish, guys. So this is going to be my pick. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick a man the Nunez there. She has a really, really high chance of winning that fight. Huge power. Okay, next, going with uh, Jason Sago. He's fighting against Justin Salas, uh, a wrestler. Sago, good grappler, also a uh, good multi-striker. Um, yeah, he's coming off a loss, hasn't fought since 2014. That's that's not really that good, but I mean, he was injured and whatnot. He should be coming back, you know, 
full full power, you know, full strength. Should be looking pretty good in this fight. And yeah, I think Salas here is chance pretty questionable, and I think Sago could possibly even TKO him, but most likely uh, Sago over here just either uh, taps him out, you know, takes him down, uh, taps him out, or takes him down and just TKOs him on the ground, guys. So that's going to be my pick. Sago's a finisher also. All his wins are all finishes, so this guy's a finisher, and I mean, look at that. He has a first round knockout against this guy named Shockley. So this guy's a finisher, main reason why I'm picking him, and yeah, he should be able to get it done. All right, so I got 10,500 left on my salary, um, but I'm not gonna go ahead and use it all. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this guy, another finisher. Pretty sure a lot of you guys might be picking him also, uh, Eric Silva. Yeah, he's a beast. He's fighting against uh, Taleb, and from what I've seen from uh, Taleb, I'm not really too impressed. Uh, Silva only loses to high level competition. And when we look here at his stats, that was a lot of good stats right there. But yeah, he only loses to high level competition. He lost to Matt Brown, but he almost finished Matt Brown in the first round. So yeah, this guy's very explosive, very good grappler, but his striking is really good. And also, he's training at Kings MMA now, you know, with those, uh, those Anjos over there, Verdum, you know, Shogun's over there, Machida. This, yeah, this guy's training over there. And he's getting his, his multi-striking, you know, nice and polished. So I think this guy is going to go ahead and just outstrike Taleb. And if not, he could just go to his grappling skills and, you know, just tap out tap out Taleb, guys. So that's what I think is going to happen. I think uh, Silva here smashes him on the feet. But if he doesn't, he, he, goes, he goes ahead and goes for a takedown. Starts grappling, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, gets a submission win. So he's a finisher. So, you know, I think he can get it done, guys. Alright, so here's my lineup, recap of my lineup, I got uh, CR here, he, he is a big underdog, but I think he can get it done, he has that power, this is GPP lineup, I want to take a risk here, if he gets, even if he wins, that's a good thing, a lot of people are not picking him, and a lot of people are going to be picking Thatch, so even if he doesn't win it, finish, even if he's winning, you know, everybody that picks Thatch, they're all going to go down, there because a lot of people are going to be picking him, so this is, it's a good thing anyway, um, but yeah, I think he get a finish, he has good power. Uh, and that's Chen. I'm saying it's pretty questionable. I think so. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, Vitor, very good, solid pick. Always knocks people out. First or second round, I think he destroys uh, Guimaraes easily. Manda Nunez. Uh, you know, Valentina's tough, but I think Nunez could put her away. Possibly second round, guys. Uh, Sago, another finisher. Salas, Chen not doing too good. And yeah, he, Salas is not really doing good right now, so I think Sago finishes him also, probably in the second round. Silva, big finisher, of course. Uh, didn't look too good in his last fight, but I'm pretty sure this fight he's going to look a lot better with his polished multi striking. And yeah, I think he finishes Taleb also, possibly second or third round. So this is my lineup, guys. I do have other lineups, but I'm, I'm just going to be sharing this one with you guys. I think it's a pretty darn uh, solid lineup, obviously, you know. If you guys want to use it, go ahead. It's just a lineup, you know. Yeah, hopefully I cash out on this one. And, yeah, guys, that's all I really got to say. Uh, this is my lineup for DraftKings. And, yeah, the fight's on Saturday. Um, and, once again, if you guys are uh, interested in DraftKings, I got the description uh, link below. You know, so go ahead and click on that link. Join. Let me know if you joined. And don't bullshit if you if you didn't join, cause it shows it shows me when someone joins. So, yeah, guys, don't be bullshit. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all I really got to say. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my DraftKings uh, video. You know, my lineup right here, my picks. And yeah, hopefully we get a win. You know what I'm saying? If you guys are playing, then yeah, I hope you guys get a win too. Make some money. And yeah, guys, I'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next video.